So you want to learn a little bit about club making, club fitting, or how about learning a lot about club making, club fitting? Stay tuned and we're going to tell you what we're doing next. Welcome back to the McGolf Shop and we have been evaluating a lot of the questions and a lot of the uh, topic areas that we've been covering and been getting asked and a lot of them end up with the club making club fitting. So we decided to do a series called Tools of the Trade. Tools of the Trade. So it's going to start right from the very beginning and take you right through the expert line. Now they're going to be five minutes to ten minutes a piece and they're going to be packed and they're going to be fast. And they're, we're going to put them out every Wednesday. So if you're interested in this, uh, give us a like down below, ask your questions down below, and also subscribe. That way you know when the next one has come out. All right, so I guess the first question is why you even want to listen to me in the first place? Well, because there's a lot of great club makers out there from coast to coast. They're all over the place. Uh, but if you want to know, there's a little bit about me. So I started this in 1999 because of my kids. I had a lefty and a righty uh, golfer and both were getting growth spurts and I had to figure out a way to keep up with them. And club making and club fitting became that way of doing that. So I took a lot of classes and the rest is hit and grew it from out of my garage into what you're seeing now. So now in between that travels uh, I've joined two professional organizations and I'm fully certified club making club fitting uh, in both uh, the organizations to the point in one I've won three regional club maker of the years and one international club maker of the year uh, and in the other one I won the Midwest club maker of the year Golf Digest has seen fit to give me the Golf Digest Top 100 Best Club Maker four times in a row so far. So uh, that amongst a ton of schooling, a ton of other certifications, uh, I think we can handle the job together. Okay, so so let's talk about getting started. Uh, you know, are you going to do this as a hobby? Are you going to do this as something for yourself? Are you going to do it something for you and your friends? Uh, you hope to grow it into a business? Uh, that's one of the things you really, really, really got to ask yourself because the hobby tends to become addictive, uh, just like most hobbies for most guys. Uh, I started with two. I, had, I used to race RC cars. And, and I took up woodworking and I've given those both up for this. So, and this went from a hobby in my garage to a full-time business with a driving range. So it's just a wonder how things work out. Now, if you start out with a hobby, uh, you know, and people find out that you're doing this, be prepared to be paid off in beer <laughs> uh, until, you figure out, until you figure out your way. And figuring out your way, there's, there is our topic, figuring out your way. Uh, I've had a you know, good associate of mine says, if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. And in this particular section, he could be no more right. Uh, you know, club making, club fitting can get very, very costly if you don't know what you're doing, particularly when you're working on somebody else's clubs. So... Knowledge is power, and so the first thing I would suggest is going to a school. Now, up until just a few years ago, there was three really good schools to go to. One was the Mitchell School, one was the Golf Smith Schools that they offered mostly down in Texas, and then Golf Works, which was uh, offered up in Newark, Ohio. Now, because of what's going on in the industry itself, Mitchell doesn't offer that, Golf Smith doesn't exist, and Golf Works is the only one left standing. And their teaching program is pretty doggone good. Uh, Jim and the crew up, up there do a great job taking you from the basics all the way up into uh, some pretty interesting stuff about golf clubs. So, number one, I would check them out. Now, I'm not aware of any other club making, club fitting classes out there other than uh, you know, the OEMs want that will give you classes on how to fit in their particular product. What I'm talking about is fitting 
uh, a golfer to a particular spec. It's completely different. It's, it is genderless and it is, it is company-less. It's whatever works for the golfer and that's what we strive for. In the repair side of it, um, you have to see what it is that you want to do right you are you gonna just do basic things or are you gonna really try and expand and we'll hit those topics a little bit later so if you can't fly to Ohio and you want to actually get into some of this here's what I suggest okay so if the schools aren't uh, are too far maybe a little too costly for then it's time to hit the books all right, and what I'm showing you here is just a fraction of my library of the things that I uh, have. And, but these are some of what I would consider minimums, all right? And we'll talk about each one. The very, very, very first one is what has been deemed the Clubmaker's Bible. Now this is the hardback. The Clubmaker's Bible, it's a, it is written by Ralph Maltby and it's gone through at least at least four different editions, all right? Uh, if you can find them on eBay, you might even find them on Amazon, and uh, it is definitely, it's an older book, okay? It is an older book, it talks about wood wood repairs in here. However, there's still some very pertinent stuff, the basics of what is lie angle, what is loft, what is offset, what is shaft flex, what is, how to, how to get a shop going. Uh, a lot of different things and if I recall there are specs in this book of what back in the 70s so you can get an idea of what what they did back then and what they're doing now this thing is nearly 900 pages long uh, and it's worth the read okay and the thing is the sections are you can pick out the sections that you want uh, and read them up and then and maybe go practice them and but to get them but that is certainly one of the first ones okay and then if you really want to uh, if you really really are into the club design part of it there is how golf clubs really work and how to optimize their design by Frank D. Werner and Richard Gregg, G-R-E-I-G. Uh, this is one heck of a read, but you better be kind of a club nerd in order to get into it. I let, when I got done reading the Red Book, I, des, you know, I had a bunch of questions, and at the time, that was a modern release. And you would be surprised at what you hear now is still in this book. All right, so I would take a look at that. Uh, other other places to go look. Uh, I came into the proceedings from the World Scientific Congress of Golf. All right, this is just one. There's four, five, I think, five different books uh, from every time they meet. And what these are are some of the smartest people in, in the industry. They all are carrying. Most of them, not all, are carrying doctorates in their field. And it talks everything from uh, environmental impacts on golf, uh, the, the reason why golf balls have dimples, uh, the types of swing kinetics in the swing, and then it gets into golf equipment. The, from a, you know, an engineering point of view, this is really a great read. Uh, but there are five of them, and a couple of them are pretty pricey, some of them not so much. But certainly worth the read if you like that kind of stuff. Uh, second and kind of it bridges the gap to fitting and one of my favorites is Search for the Perfect Golf Club written by Mr. Tom Wishon. Uh, Tom I consider to be a good friend and he, he takes and makes some pretty commonsensical type things that go on here. Alright so definitely worth a good read there. Now he has a series of these Search for the Perfect Driver and, and on but I would get search for the perfect golf club first and if you like it then you can go on now if you're really just wanting to get into the fitting side of the house Mr. Wishon, Tom also has the uh, common sense club fitting guide alright common sense club fitting guide and he explains all the parameters and how to's and the way to do fittings and finally from my friends at Golfworks and Mr. Rolf Maltby 
the golf, uh, the complete book of club fitting and performance. And this is a lot now. Uh, Mr. Maltby is an engineer, all right? So he does things in an engineering method which fits my mind completely. And he goes through and he shows you why things work the way that they do and how you can go through a fitting session. So there's a lot of, there's a lot here. There's all this, there's this, and you know, there's easily, a, there's easily a couple thousand pages of reading. But take it, take your time, read some of it. If you got any questions, put it down in the show notes and I'll be more than happy to discuss it with you. Or it might even make a good topic on our way through our, our uh, tools of the trade. So just wanted to get you guys started. Knowledge is power. And so go check out schools or check out books. And let's see your scores go low.